The main secret to consistently potting long balls is how you allow for and control side spin. Striking the cue ball away from the center will initially make it deflect away from the tip of your cue in the opposite direction. To strike the object ball in the right place you have to be able to allow for this and the cue ball spinning on the cloth of the table as it slows down. And this will be affected both by the power and by how far away from the centre you're striking. To pot a long ball you need to work out how much spin you usually put on the cue ball so you can work out how much it's going to deflect by and what line it's likely to take. You can do this by seeing what happens when you play the cue ball straight up and back through the spots. The further to the right it goes, the more right hand side you put on the cue ball and the further to the left it goes, the more left hand side you put on the cue ball. You want to try this a few times to discover an average position. So play shots fast, slow, with top spin, back spin, because how high you strike the cue ball and with how much power will make a big difference to how much side spin you end up putting on the cue ball. But why not just eliminate the problem altogether by striking the cue ball in the centre without any side spin? Well the problem is that's very difficult to do even for the top professionals and gets harder the lower your ability. There is this idea that one of the first things you need to do is learn to cue straight without any side spin and all of a sudden you'll start potting everything. This is wrong. It's learning to play with the unwanted side you can't avoid putting on the cue ball that ultimately helps you learn to cue the shot straighter. If I know I'm putting a small amount of right hand side on the cue ball every time I play a shot then I don't really need to fix this as a problem, instead I need to allow for it, especially on longer shots, so I need to allow for the small amount of deflection that will be on the cue ball whereas the cue ball leaves my tip, and to allow for the amount that the cue ball will move on the clock. If I'm allowing for a small amount of right hand side on a firm stun shot like that one, it means I only have to predict how much the cue ball will deflect off my tip. But on a slower shot like that one, I also have to allow for the cue ball to roll to the right a little bit as the spin starts to grip the cloth at a slower speed. And the better you get at shaping the shot, and allowing the spin to take the cue ball into the right position, the straighter you'll find you play the shots, and the easier the game becomes. So first, understand how much side spin you usually put on each different type of shot, and then allow for it. This will help you improve the fastest, but unfortunately side spin isn't the only reason you miss shots. And this is because you don't always strike the cue ball consistently, so here's a few more things you may not know that will help improve your chances. You can also improve your long potting by playing the shots at the minimum possible power. Let me show you exactly what I mean by that. This is a stun shot. I'm putting backspin on the cue ball to make the white stop dead as I pot the ball, but I don't need to hit it anywhere near this hard to do that. I can play these shots a lot slower and have better control over the cue ball and be more likely to pot the shots because they're going to deflect less off my cue. So instead if I play these shots at the minimum possible power I'll have more control over the cue ball, it's more likely to go where I want it to. The object ball is more likely to go in the pocket if I hit one of the jaws and drop and the cue ball will deflect a lot less off the tip of my cue. So playing it slower makes a big difference, especially on longer shots, but you don't want to play the shot too slow and result in something I call stalling, where the cue ball actually starts dragging along the table and running through afterwards because this makes the pots a lot harder because after spinning backwards when the cue ball starts spinning forward on the cloth again it can roll to one side or the other and makes it more likely that you'll miss a longer shot. So you maximise your chances on a screw shot by getting the cue ball to do just what you want it to do, nothing more, nothing less. And in doing so you make that stun shot or that screw shot a lot higher percentage of going in the pocket. On a slower run through shot you just want to make sure you're not playing these shots too slowly that an unlevel table would catch you out.
but these are usually dictated by position and you can't really do too much about the speed of them. And when it comes to the side spin we were talking about earlier, you really have two options. You can either stun the cue ball so you avoid all the roll on the table and you just have to worry about the deflection or you can play it a little bit slower and allow for the roll but you also won't get too much deflection. But it's absolutely vital on any shot you're attempting, you know how hard you're going to strike the cue ball before you get to the table. Because again, of the side I was talking about earlier, if I was going to play the shot slowly and I suddenly decide to play it harder, then the effect of that side spin will be different and I could end up missing a fairly straightforward shot. And if it's a long shot, I could end up missing by quite a long way. Another secret, once you've got everything lined up right, is to keep focusing on the same point all the way through the shot, even if it doesn't look like you're aiming in the right place. On the way to the table, you usually look where you're aiming, but then you check that you're striking the cue ball where you intend to at the same time, and then look back at the object ball again. And sometimes you look back and forth between cue ball and object ball. And when you look back at the object ball, you might not be looking exactly where you were aiming before. But this doesn't matter because nothing's changed. So as long as you keep focus on wherever it is you are now aiming, then you won't move and you should pot the ball. It's wrongly believed that you should be trying to keep your head completely still on the shot. Whereas in reality, your head and in particular your chin is best used to prevent your cue jumping up in the air. It will help your consistency, especially on the longer shots, if you can use your chin to prevent your cue jumping off your bridge hand. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Before the next secret tip, we just got to find Dr. Z from Hale in the UK, which is there. One of the main reasons a player will miss any shot is if they strike the cue ball too quickly. Let me show you what this means. Years ago, somebody told me I was striking the cue ball too quickly and I just thought they meant I was playing too fast. But this just relates to this bit, where you pull the cue back and push it through again. If this bit takes too short of a time, then you effectively rush it and don't hit the cue ball anything like you intend to, and this can cause you to miss. This causes a problem because it creates a jerky motion as you're pulling the cue back if you suddenly push it through again. And the two simple ways to avoid doing this is to just make sure there's a bit of a pause at the end of your backswing, or you make sure your timing is right so you get your cue back as far as you're intending before you push it through. Or you could look at getting coaching from Ronnie O'Sullivan by going to www.snooker.online and get it at a reduced price by using the promo code BREAK. When it comes to long potting, you often have a choice of shot to play, and it can help massively if you can choose the easiest shot for you personally. So this might relate to how far the shot is away, or what particular angle you find easiest. So here I think I find this one the easiest of the two, especially if I can just roll it in slowly and come back for the blue, hopefully. Might have been a bit hard, but that's not bad. Finally, and almost certainly more importantly, is the cue ball control, because it actually matters more where the cue ball ends up on these shots, rather than if you pot the ball or not. Because on most of these shots, you'll have lower than a 50% shot success rate, and that means if you can get the cue ball safe at the same time, you can actually take more of these shots on. Also, these shots carry a lot of risk, so if you can't get on a colour, there's very little point in taking that risk in the first place. So better cue ball control will not only help you score more points after you've potted a long ball, but it'll also help you keep it safe just in case you miss. So if you want to improve your control of the cue ball, I've got a video that will help you do that right here, as well as one that will help you aim with side spin. And remember, don't just watch play, and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website. See you later.